Stan Kaglis and Dave Redsell are lucky enough to live in northern Queensland and they make the most of any spare time they have doing what they love most, fishing the deep offshore reefs and wrecks with soft plastics. A method that is fast becoming increasingly popular with anglers realising how effective plastics are in these areas. As with any fishing though, there are a few simple tips and techniques that can make a session on the water more productive and the boys give us some good info here. You on? Yep, that's on. On the swimmer, fish profile, usually associated with a, a bar, a lure, but um, you know they work great out here. I had on the offshore wrecks and reefs. Take up that that uh, that real paddle tail profile. Works really well when whacked on the bottom. Yeah. In these areas, it's, it's there's a bit of a trade-off. You can get the bigger, the better the moon face. So around the new and the full moon, the fishing's often quite good, um, and that's because there's you know, you tend to be a bit more bait and stuff around, but you also get those bigger tidal runs. So sometimes it can be a little bit harder to fish, especially if you're drift fishing like we are today. So we're having to use some fairly heavy jig heads today. Sometimes it's actually better to use lighter jig heads as it allows it to waft down. You can target fish more in the, in the water column, but today, you know, we really want to be fishing that bottom section. So keeping them as close to the bottom as possible, fishing that one to three metres off the bottom is ideal. It's not that different to fishing bait with plastics, you know, you, you're feeling for bites and you've got to strike. Fish sometimes aren't just going to smash it, you're going to have to feel the bites and then sink that hook. So, you know, being in contact with your line is really important. A lot of people don't like fishing soft plastics and they prefer fishing bait because they believe that the smell of bait often attracts fish. Um, one thing you can do to enhance your plastics is you can add a scent which will do the exact same thing as bait. Um, I really like using this Pro Cure, um, the Bloody Tuna Super Gel from Z-Man. Um, it's really good, comes in a really handy little bottle so it doesn't leak everywhere all through your gear. And just run it all the way down, run it right through. And what that'll often do, especially on the tail, it's important a lot of people don't put it right through to the tail, often just put it on the body. What I also like about this Pro Cure is that it tends to stay on the plastic for a long time. So you can apply this to your plastic and fish for a good 30 minutes. Um, whereas a lot of the other plastics you can drop down, often the scent's lost pretty quickly. So, yeah, um, adding adding a bit of scent to your soft plastic really is really good for uh, getting that extra advantage and getting that extra bite. Z-Man have a large range of colours and sizes in their grubs, and they're extra tough for the critters that inhabit deep tropical reefs. There's a good range to choose from, with their swimmers also super tough to withstand being chewed on and monstered by all manner of different species that live here. All right, so we're out here around uh, 200 feet of water. Um, we're fishing a pinnacle which comes up to about 135, so we're looking at about a 55 feet raise. Um, and we're using some pretty heavy jig heads, so I'm using an eight ounce jig head. Um, a lot of guys, uh, a lot of southern soft plastic fishermen like to use fairly light jig heads to get that wafting effect of their soft plastic. Because we're chasing fish that are right on the bottom, it's a little bit different and you want your soft plastic to be on the bottom. So. Don't be afraid if you're in this really deep water to uh, use some of these really heavy style jig heads. And eight ounce isn't really that heavy. You know, a lot of guys when they fish Paternoster rigs for bait will often use an eight ounce dropper lead or a six ounce dropper lead. Um, and so an eight ounce an eight ounce lead is sometimes a really good way to get down on the bottom. Check out ttlewis.com.au.